so today we can discuss this problem from lead course problem number 797 all paths from source to target so it's a very standard bfs problem and in this problem it is given that a directed acyclic graph of n nodes is given to you find all possible paths from the node 0 to the node n minus 1 and return return them in any order okay the graph is given below as you can see uh, okay so in the input they are actually given that the zeroth node has two edges to 1 and 2 so as you can see zero has two edges 1 to 1 and other to 2 and it just depicts uh, the directed uh, edge from 0 to 1 and 2 then there is an edge from the the index of this is 1 so 1 to 3 then there is an edge from because its index is 2 2 to 3 and like Three doesn't have any edge outgoing it, so the it is an empty value. So what we can do is we can just apply DFS from the starting uh, node. So from all its children, we'll do a DFS call, and if we by like if we reach at the end, then we'll push the path, the whole path in the output, uh, like a global array in which we'll store all the paths. So if you don't know DFS. what will we do is there is a node here so if there is a node 2 then there is a node 3 there is a node 4 and there is a node 5 you can easily make the snc list for this map and then what will you do is we start from the first node then if it has any children you explode them then move from 12 from 2 you'll see whether it has some children yes so it has this children and this children so take one children and start from this now does it has children yes now we move to 5 because 5 is the last node we want to reach yeah there is a path from 1 2 3 5 so what we will do is we can actually make an array to store the path while we are going through this dfs call so because our path always start from one we'll push one from it and then because one has one children we'll push two in it and then we start a dfs call from here we'll send this array from 2 to 3 we'll always send this array now from now because two is there in this array we'll send this to 3 now because three has one children we'll add three to this array and then send this new array to 5 now because 5 is our final node we'll add 5 to our list and this is one path now because 5 is in our list there can be another path from 2 because 2 has more children but we have added these two nodes extra so what we'll have to do is we have to remove this so after adding any node and we have seen like we have reached the end of this node so while we are traversing every child of any node and we have reached exhausted all the children then after traversing ev- like any children we'll have to like recurse back so then we'll take this node up back we'll recurse back and we'll see like whether 3 has more children other than 5 no so then we recurse this back again now we'll go to 2 so now we go at 2 2 doesn't is 2 has more children yes we have only traveled 3 So we'll from two we'll add four, and does four has children? Yeah. So it has children five, and because we have also at the end now we'll push this also in our final array or final answer, and now we have two parts. So that's the simple explanation. Now let's code it, and it will be more clear to you. So what we'll we do is we'll first have to make a global vector to store our parts. It is called answer. and we also have to find adjacency matrix we'll make it 1000 because the constraints are very small then what we'll do is we'll store the size of it which actually tell us how many nodes are there we'll have to iterate over the children So first, you have to make the agency list. I 
and because it's directed what we'll do is can be auto auto in graph of i and empty list of i dot push back from i there's a h to j to its children okay then after that what we'll have to do is we'll make a vector which i have told you to which will be uh, storing this value and if we end, reach the end then this vector has stored all the path we'll push them in the final answer so this is a and because our path always start from zero we'll push zero in it then we'll iterate over the roots of zero which are stored in the essential list so auto i of essential list of zero will make a dfs call for all its children and we'll also have to send this vector which i have told you which will be sent at every call of dfs and then we'll return our answer now we'll have to write this dfs function in which we'll make a void function dfs what it take it takes node value and it take a vector address a okay so if the node on which we are right now is equal to the final node so now it means we have find the path so we just have to first push this in our array a now push this in our final path array and then pop it out because this is one path but now we have to recurse back so because a remains same you can assume it to be a stack and we first like push some element in a if we have reached the final node what we'll do is we'll push this in the vector store it in the final answer which is a global vector and because now we have find the path we have to recur back so for recurring back we have to uh, normalize a condition which we have done so because we have added this node we have to like uh, pop it out and we will we'll do a return statement from that because we don't have to move ahead from this node because this is the last node else we are if we are not at the last node what we have to do is we have to first push this node on which we are and what we'll do is then we'll do a dfs call from the node on which we are to its children so its children will be then the essential list of this node and what we'll do is we'll do a dfs call to its children which is i and we also have to send this a vector and after going through all the children because we again have to utilize we have pushed this a we have to pop this a pop back and a and then we have to return yeah, that's the code for the dfs let's run this okay So they have told that no matching member answer or because it should be a vector of vector to store because our answer should be this. Now, as you can see, given the right answer, let's submit this. So it's accepted. I hope you understand the DFS call, how I do and proceed this. If you still have any doubts, please mention now. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.